Are you getting fed up with a Christian life? Perhaps you've been walking the same path for a long time and haven't really seen the results that you were hoping for, so you've begun to, for want of a better phrase, get on with other things. If that's you, I want to encourage you now not to let your love for the Lord go cold. It's very often when you're about to receive something good or a promise is about to be fulfilled that the devil will come along with his distractions. Suddenly the world looks more attractive and your eyes aren't on the Lord anymore. Don't forget 2 Corinthians 11, 14 and 15 tells us that the devil and his servants do masquerade as angels of light. Listen. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It's not surprising then if his servants masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their ends will be what their actions deserve. Now God hasn't called you as a Christian to a life of misery and deprivation. There is great blessing in walking with the Lord, even in hard times. But sometimes things can get distorted in our minds and we're no longer seeing the true picture. Now we can't walk a lot around thinking about hell all the time, but we shouldn't forget ever what Jesus has saved us from, or that there are people out there in the world who might appear to be having a good time, but they could be snatched away at any moment and be lost forever. This life is temporary, but hell is forever. You don't need what those people who are on that road to hell have got. They may look like they're having a good time, but you don't need what they've got. They need what you've got. They're destined for a Christless eternity in hell unless they respond to the gospel and repent. Now you've got an amazing future with the Lord. If you keep on that path, you've got an amazing future now as well. Things are not always going to be like this in this life. Whether you might have your ups or downs, but when the Lord's with you, he can change things for you at a moment's notice. Another point is that sometimes the Lord does allow us to feel fed up or to come to the end of ourselves and feel dissatisfied. And there's a reason for it. It's because it's time for things to change. And he wants us to feel that way. So that concern will draw us near to him. So we'll seek him for something fresh from find out what it is he wants. Maybe he's provided for you in a certain way for a long time and suddenly that provision stops. But if that's what's happened, don't panic because perhaps the Lord wants to lead you in another direction. Either way, the way to find out is to draw aside and pray, to lay it all down before the Lord and see what he wants. And when he shows you, pray into it and then see what will happen.